I can't believe we lost to the girls again. I know, right? Though I feel like we probably shouldn't blame the girls. We did tell everyone that they were cheating. We shouldn't feel bad. I mean, the girls, they shouldn't even be on, they shouldn't even be girls' sports team. What are they going to do, take them back? They should be taking ballet instead of soccer. What are they going to do, take competitive ballet? That's mean. You shouldn't say that. I say what I want to say. I mean that it's not nice to say that there are reasons that there are girls' sports teams. And that's what you and I will stop right now. We will start a petition. We will start a petition to stop girls' sports teams. You mean you will? I'm not joining your silly games. What? Oh my god, they did it again. I know, right? Can't they just face it? They obviously lost. I mean, when we, when we lost, we didn't go around telling everybody that they cheated. I mean, I kind of feel bad for them. I mean, this is their third loss in a row. Don't feel bad for them. We've lost so many times and just dealt with it. Yeah. You're right. We shouldn't do that. How about let's go catch up with Coach to tell you what's going on. Yeah, let's go. Took away a night. Wait. What? I'm sorry what we told everyone the other day. Did we already tell Coach? Oh, it's fine. Really? Yeah, it's fine, even though we already told Coach. Maggie! What? Yeah, let's go. You were like a girl. If you were a little faster, you could too. Okay, class. Today we'll be talking about gender bias statements. How convenient. So why don't you stare at us? Yes. They're obviously just mad that boys are better than girls in the gym. They didn't. No one needs to know that. Everyone should be well aware. Do you want to win the championship or not? Boys? you want to choose it. I'll be making the groups. Emma, Penelope, Jack, and George. Lily, Lauren, John, and Jasper. Ava, Maddie, Peter, and Dylan. What? Is there a problem? Uh, um, no, we were just- Getting excited. I mean, this is a project with 43% of our brain, right? Oh, yeah. Yeah. Okay, your project is due the 23rd. Great. We'll get started tonight. Maddie, your turn for getting the poster board. Ava, get the art supplies. Um, Peter, bring a list of ideas we could possibly do. Good. Dylan, keep track of the current news that has to do with gender equality. I have one. I know what you're about to say. There were these two boys and two girls. They were all playing soccer, and then... We get it, Maggie. We meet at my house at 8. That's too late. Okay, fine. After school. That's good. Bye. Okie dokie. Ow, where's the link? Sure. Anyway, let's get started. Okay, so we've read it here. here. So, yeah. Start. So, first do a pencil. All right. Yeah, you guys, you guys, you guys use these. I think I'm gonna use green. Not me. Well, me and Peter are supposed to use blue because, like, this girl is pink. Um, no, no. My favorite color is blue. Project. Next is Ava, Maggie, Dylan, and Peter. I'm Dylan. I'm Peter. And I'm Maggie. And today we're going to share with you our project on gender inequality and bias statements. So you may be wondering what's the problem. Men and women don't get equal rights. In fact, women in America weren't officially allowed to vote until 1920. That's less than a century ago. Did you know that in 2015, a woman made 78 cents for every dollar that a man made? It may not seem like a lot. But if you add up how much a woman makes per year, it's a lot less than a man do. Women only hold 4.6% of CEO jobs in Standard and Poor 500 companies. Only 26% of mathematical and computer jobs are held by women. That's not a lot. In 2018, 1.4 million technology jobs will be open, and 61% will be filled with only 29 being filled by women. Again, not a lot. So. 
What are you gonna do to help? Stand up to people using biased language. I think that we've gotten so used to hearing these things that we aren't even realized that we're using them. Correct. We will also find a lot more words that you, you use that are biased. I'm pretty sure that everyone here said something biased. I don't know. Let's try something. Who here has ever said guys referring to both boys and girls? See, all of you oh, have. Whoa. Exactly. Every single one here has just raised their hand. Anyone else have any examples of biased language? Maybe, like, I think this kind of shows that girls and women are expected to be a certain way. Exactly. exactly. Thank, Thank you so much for listening to us today. We hope, hope you enjoyed. enjoyed. Thank you so much for sharing. I hope you've all learned something from the other groups. I know I have. And I'm really sorry for what I did. It was really, it was really wrong to, to do that. <clears throat> and I'm really, really sorry, and I hope you can just be friends. Sure. Sure. Yeah, even though you said a lot of mean things, we can still be friends. We get it. I just wanted to make sure. <laughs> and they all became friends. The end.